Hello Zany friends, I am Lainey. And I am Marshall. Welcome to our new room that we can now uh, film in mm. and not be like scrunched up together. And we actually have better lighting because we have a lot of light coming in. So this is our new room. Mm -hmm. Liking it, office slash shooting space. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, uh, we are a little bit late this month because everything's up in the air since we moved. So we wanted to bring you all the products that are coming out for April. So some things you will need to know, you need to wait until the end of the video because there are some major changes mm -hmm. happening with our company that uh, were kind of our choice, but also kind of not our choice. So please wait until the end of the video so you can get the major changes that are going on. One of the things I do want to tell you is, uh, if you remember, Every other month, we do not have a themed month. We just do, you know, the create a sense or we do like one set that we want to do. So that is what it is this month. So every other month we will be doing that. We would highlight scents in the groups and those products would be on the site discounted. But uh, because we were only doing it for three days, I think uh, it was kind of hurtful to you guys because you're paying a lot of shipping and I couldn't regulate that on the site. So what we decided is we will have different collections available for discount every month on the site and it will be all month long. But, <laughs> but we will have a party week this month which you can get stuff only in the group. However, we will not be having party week in May or June. And that's just because Marshall and I are going to be taking a break to prepare for all these major changes oh, yeah. that we need to do. So we'll talk more about that at the end of the video. So let me tell you first, besides the new things we're gonna show you in this video, what is on sale in the group. Now, if you are ever like, I don't remember, just go to the group in the announcement section and then the group link will be down below if you are not a member. And there is a post there that will say, this is everything on sale and here are the links. Everything that is on sale that we're not gonna show you right now is our 90s collection, which is Time After Time, Whelmed, Say No More, and As If. The Harry Potter collection, which is basically everything but always right now. So it's pumpkin pasties, uh, lemon, uh, sherbet lemon, tooth flossing string mints, chocolate frog. What am I missing? Familiar. Butter, uh, familiar and butterscotch brew. The other deals are going to be in the party. So we're going to show you everything else that is discounted on the site right now. Actually, I was ahead of it for that. <laughs> Just not for this video. <laughs> okay, so let us talk first about the set we we created. Um, it is because we were at, we were at a con, mm -hmm. yes, and, uh, we were talking about the fact that this movie was actually coming out in a little while. Yeah, and so we're like, we should, we should get ahead of that, because we don't have this listed in, like, anything that we're doing right now, mm -hmm. but it's not that much, so let's just go figure one out, and we did it. And did, yeah. Yeah, we totally did. It has been done in. And it is called... Partners in Justice. Um, the Partners in Justice, um, the set notes is watermelon, lemon, and lime. And we do have this available um, in the spray, the scrub, and the button, and the wax. So all four of those you can get discounted this month. It's a very energizing mix. It's based off of Detective Pikachu. Mm. Watermelon, lemon, and lime. It just smells so fresh and fruity mm -hmm. and summery and... I can't wait to burn this, man. This is gonna be good. Mm -hmm. mm, yes. Yeah, yeah, I think Corey can get behind this too a lot. This yes. is kind of a Corey scent. Oh yeah, he he does like this kind of scent. And then the next scent is our create a scent, and this was done by our friend Zelma, who is one of our reps. And uh, this was back when we had done like six months of create a scent voting, and so she got this one, and it's based off of da, 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 da. The Legend of Zelda. <laughs> yes. Okay, so what we've got here, it's called A Silent Breath. And, and the, the set notes are Fresh Rain, Ozone, and Lotus Blossom. And the artwork that you see there is kind of based off of the scene from the true ending of Breath of the Wild, where Link and Zelda are kind of discussing, well, what are we going to do next? And they're on this hill filled with the flower called the Silent Princess, and it all flies to the wind. And it, it's very nice. I think that this is flowery and fresh. This is not my type of scent. 
like at yeah. all. I it actually gives me a little bit of a headache just because I don't do well with flowery scents, but it smells very good. Mm -hmm. I just it's not my thing, and this is why we do create a scent so that you guys in the community can do scents that appeal more to you like if, if Marshall and I basically did all sense that we wanted to do it would be like bakery and fruity all day long like it's all yeah. we would do because that's our favorite kind but you know you guys give us some really good blend ideas so and that. this is this is really good like I think the actual scent itself is based off the silent princess uh, flower that you see all over the hillside. Mm -hmm. So I did want to highlight two different scents. Um, if you are a rep for me, you actually, if you're the top seller um, that month, you get to create a scent with us as part of the incentive to maybe sell a little bit more um, so that you can create what you want. So I actually had two ready this month, which was great because um, I had been lagging a little because of the move. So the first one is called two windmills. This was created by uh, Kara and it is based on the movie Amelie, which I thought was interesting. Like, like kind of, it is very pop culture, but it's not one you'd think of like right off the top of your head. And I actually really like Amelie. I think it's cute, but she has it. So it smells like French vanilla coffee and almond macaroons. And she said when she smells it, she actually remembers being, because she went to Paris, I think, last year, and she says it smells exactly like, like, fancy Paris coffee houses where you go th get the macaroons. So I was like, well, good. I mean, <laughs> I like, like how it is. Have you smelled this, like, at I think all? I, I smelled it during the production process. Mm -hmm. let, me, let me smell it when it's mature. It's good. Like I can, I can definitely get behind that. I do like the almond macaroon, and mm -hmm. you know I like drink coffee, so this this works out very well. I yeah. think it's a very, it's a soothing, warm scent. Mm -hmm. I, I agree. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one we have that's a rep scent is from Stephanie, and uh, she wanted one that was based on gummy bears, um, the Gosh. cartoon. Yeah, <laughs> cartoon. Um, and it's called Here, There, Everywhere, because that's where they bounce. And the scents, the, I love it. Yeah. It's gummy candy and fizzy juice. Which, if you have watched the show, you know that the gummy bear characters all gain the ability to bounce all over the place because of gummy berry juice. So this is supposed to smell like that. It smells like a fizzy gummy bear. It really, it really does. does. This is this is tasty. I, I haven't smelled this in a while. Like when we first put it together, basically we take the two fragrance oil bottles and we like. Is this, is this good? Is it good? Mm -hmm. So and then we can like take them and move into different distances to go like, well, we have more of this scent. And, you know, that, mm -hmm. that's our but when we when we make it, we make our first one and then we like let it sit for a little while, uh, like a couple weeks, and then we smell it again to see how it matures. Um, so we hadn't smelled it since it matured. But we were like, yeah, this is good. Yeah, this we is had already stuff. sent it to Stephanie. And uh, she okayed it, so we were like, if this is what you want it to smell like, then this is it. So I think this is amazing. Right up my alley. I might actually steal this one because I like it. It's, it's good stuff, actually. It's good. It's good. I, I'm halfway wanting to steal this, the, the scrub, because that smells really awesome. Oh, yeah. That would make it amazing. It's a great amazing. scrub. All right, let's talk about wax. Uh, we are trying to do more wax, as you know. So we have Partners in Justice. That's one wax. But... We do a poll in the group every month to be like, what wax do you want? Well, this month, uh, this past month, it was kind of tied a little bit. So I just decided to do two. So we have two waxes. We've got To the Moon and Back, and we've got Hell in High Heels. So To the Moon and Back was a set created by one of our reps, Meg, after Bing Bong from Inside Out. And, of course, Hell in High Heels is uh, Doctor Who, River Song. This, mm. is, this has a, a good fruit to it, but mm. it's very sugar. Mm, it is sugar, sugar, and more sugar. This one right here to Hell and High Heels is uh, like if you went to Disney and you got a Dole Whip, this is exactly what it would smell like, and it is so one of my favorites. Because you smell like pineapple and like just, oof. I, just, you I can totally go. see River Song eating a Dole Whip. Let's just go there now. Let's just yeah. go. All right, those are all of the uh, scents that are going to be discounted on the site uh, this month. So here's the changes. This is, this is what's coming, guys. So, grab a drink. A little background. The European Union <laughs> has cracked down on some copyright laws. And as you know, what we're doing is kind of, you know, things influenced by things already out there. So, a lot of the art is. It's different. Questionable. Yeah. Yeah. Article 13, while it's not actually been ratified by all the states that are in the European Union, uh, 
it talks very heavily about using copyright and what is and is not permissible as memes, as um, fair use, and things like that. And there's been a lot of discussion about that all over YouTube about what this will affect. Um, and so just to get ahead of the game, we're going to be working at changing up how we do the artwork on all of our things. Those of you who might be looking very closely at our thumbnails might notice that very often you'll have a version of one of our characters doing cosplay as something from whatever our set is. And we're not stopping that. In fact, that is going to be taking over the artwork that we're going to do. So from here on in, rather than seeing artwork like this, you'll be seeing much more simplified artwork with those kinds of cosplay characters and the description of everything on there. You will still see logos that are looking rather nice. And we call these cosplabels because they're cosplay labels. If you guys uh, are in our group and you see, we'll do a sneak peek, if, if I can get it up in time. Um, we'll do a sneak peek and you'll see Hershey, our moose back there, will be dressed in an outfit. Or maybe it's Colada, who is our llama. Or maybe it's Ravenna or Jelly, who are our little dolls. Or Waldo, our little weird rabbit. He's a creeper rabbit. Creeper rabbit. So they are usually dressed like something. So that's what we're basically transferring to. This will keep us from getting dinged and shut down and... All that jazz. It for also the most has part. some really good effects. It means that there is, it doesn't take as long to produce some of this artwork, which allows us to do things that we couldn't do before. Um, in some cases, there may be points where we're able to take some of these things that, like, um, our create a sense, that we can be like, yeah, let me just go ahead and make some artwork for that, because mm -hmm. I'm still breathing. Or in uh, for our top seller sense or commission mm -hmm. sense, people who didn't really have the art in the past will now be getting the art as we're rolling it out. So what does this mean for you guys? So right now everything is on the site. So first let's tackle the October or the create a sense. Right now we have them planned up to October. That will not change. Marshall will still do the art with you because that's what we promised we would do. However, you will only get your art for one month. After that month, it will no longer be available on the site. And after October, any creative sense done will be done with the new cosplayable labels. Cosplayables. Uh, they will be done with the new labels because uh, we can't go further than that. So if you have a creative sense, I know some of you are watching, just keep that in mind. If you want your digital download, if you want it on a button, you got to get it that month or else you won't get it. For everything that has already been up on the site, we will be slowly working through all of those scents to redo them by collections. But what that also means is we're going to take that opportunity to call down our collection. And in our group, you may have noticed we have been voting on our favorite scents. So it is up to you guys. Keep the scents you want and vote. Go in there and vote, okay? SOS, save our scents. <laughs> Um, and then that way that just gives us room for more sense uh, in, in the future. Um, so that is, that is basically why this is gonna, we need to take a couple months off from doing parties in, in the group because we need that time to really focus on this. We also have a couple major cons coming up. Uh, Megacon here in Orlando in May is huge. I cannot believe the amount of celebrity. Like I've been to Comic-Con. This does not rival Comic-Con, but it's probably like, Right here. It's like, hi, pretty big. What's going on? I can't believe some of the people they got for this. Like, mm -hmm. I wish I had a, a bunch of like hundreds of dollars to drop because I'd go see some of these people, no doubt. Um, Are you kidding? I would love to have a, an extra couple hundred to just go up to Marty McFly and hand him Great Scott. Right. Or David Tennant and just give him a Doctor Doctor Who's and like, hello. Don't blink. Um, exactly. Um, one more thing I did want to bring up is that right now, uh, you know, we have our wax. It is not colored because we originally wanted it to be uh, less toxic. However, um, we have heard your feedback and we totally get it that you guys like the pretty wax. I understand. So this is what we're going to do. We are actually, uh, we have a crap ton of this wax. It's the soy only wax. Um, once we are able to get our hands on the other blend we are going to be replacing it with, which is more of a soy pear blend, we are going to uh, be switching up our wax blend. Uh, and that means also our fragrance levels as well. And at the same time, we are going to be putting in color. Now we are not gonna go crazy and do what everybody else does, which is like 30 million different colors. 
to start off with, it's just gonna be purple. Why? Because we're purple, okay? So you will know purple wax is Zany Lady Wax. But once you get the purple wax, that's how you'll be able to tell if it is the new uh, blend of wax or not, is if it's purple. We will have a bunch of white wax left over. So if you get the white, you know you're on the old, the old wax. Um, not that it is old, it's just not the, the previous the formulation. Exactly. So that's something else for you to notice that will be gradually going out uh, right now. We still haven't received the new blend of wax yet, which is fine because we have still have like 50 pounds of wax to go through. <laughs> Buy well, more wax, you know? 50 pounds, but you know, a, good, a sizable chunk. I would say that this new wax is going to be great because once we can formulate it correctly, we will be able to do shapes and smaller things and uh, not just Not this. just clamshells. We might be able to do, oh, I don't know, tardises maybe. I don't know. Little baby ones, maybe even candles. I don't know. So <laughs> we'll do that. Um, so that is basically where we're at here in the month of April. A uh, little sneak peek for May. Uh, there are many movies coming out in the month of May that are sequels of other very well loved movies. And if you know what they are, you will know what next month's theme is. Do you even have a name for next month's theme? The sequel. The sequel. Dun dun dun. We'll just tell you. <laughs> we'll figure it out as we go. We do that all the time anyway. Exactly. So our um, the movies that we are highlighting in next month's collection are Toy Story 4, uh, The Mission Impossible, not Mission Impossible, I am so sorry, Men in Black International, and Dark Phoenix. So they're mm -hmm. all big sequels. Which, in a way, it's not just that they're sequels. They are number four of a series. All of them are? I believe so. So you have... Men in Black International, which came after Men in Black 3, so it is technically Men in Black 4. Toy Story 4, obviously, it's already numbered. And then Dark Phoenix, it's not the fourth X-Men movie, but it's the fourth one in this new cycle. So you had First Class, you had um, Days, Futures, Past, Apocalypse, and then you got this one, so it is also the fourth. Oh, so we didn't even plan that. Use the fourth. We were just like, what's coming out in May? Let's do it. Actually, I think it's coming out in June, but since June is a blank month, we're doing it in May. So you can get it first. Mm -hmm. That's right. We do have a cool Creed Ascent coming out as well, and I believe it is Jurassic Park themed. Yes. Yes. And mm -hmm. we might have another one. Oh, yeah. Kind of like how we did with Partners in Justice. We just kind of went we're like, let's do it. Yes, because when we go to cons, everyone's like, oh, do you have the scent? Do you, have this, do you have some for this? Kind of like with our Expendable. Yeah. Yeah, people are just like, we want Star Trek. Here's your Star Trek. And that's the other thing, too, doing the cosplayables, is if someone says that to us, all we have to do is be like, all right, what would that smell like? Okay, put it together. Okay, Marshall, do the label. Okay, look, it takes like two minutes. <laughs> hey, Marshall, do the label. Oh, yeah, I already had that before we came home from the con. Thank you. <laughs> no, it's good. It's all good. Okay, so I need your comments. Tell me down below what you think. Also, okay. tell us down below what you don't think. That's right. If you don't think it, say it too. Yes. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay zany. Bye-bye.